hard. And we bounce back and forth so we don't get bored. Um, I, uh, early on, I decided I was going to, well, I started out in school, I was going to be an elementary art school teacher because that was the least amount of math you could take in college. <laughs> <laughs> the, the technique that I use is there's not any math in it. It's a, it's a spatial thing. Um, and then I did that for like two years and decided I didn't really like kids very much. And so I decided to switch to, um, to commercial art. So I went to school and I graduated from the Art Institute of Houston. Um, and I drew, I worked at an oil and gas magazine and I drew little charts and little graphs and little oil rigs and that's what I did. <laughs> and then the Houston oil crash happened. Remember when that was, okay, I was there. I was, and there was only two, three people in the whole art department and the whole art department got laid off. And I was six months pregnant at the time and with my first child. And so I was really home a lot, and because um, who's going to hire somebody that's six months pregnant? I wouldn't either. Um, <laughs> I really started quilting uh, a lot more. Um, now, this is my very uh, first um, pictorial quilt I ever made. Um, let me hold this for a minute. You got it. Uh, how can I just, uh, let me see if I can get this. No, it won't go bigger. It will go bigger. I'm trying to get over there. Okay, let me go this way so I can get out of the way. I am a professional. I can do this. <laughs> I have to tell myself that sometimes. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I'm just trying to get out of your way. I don't want to be. If I was a good techie person, I would have it all wireless and I'd be, <laughs> but I'm not like that. <laughs> um, so, you know, you just have to go with it. Um, let me see if I can get it clearer, too. Let me know if it's better. Um, okay. So this is the very first pictorial quilt I ever made. Um, this is called uh, A Place of My Own. Uh, growing up in the Heights area of Houston, we lived next door to my grandfather. And I used to play in the flower beds. And um, this looks just like their house. So that's what drew me to this picture. Um, now, uh, I applicate a lot on this. I used to do a lot of applique because that was the only way I knew to make something look real. And I've always been drawn to realistic type art. Let me take a break. <laughs> I would have had, one time I had a margarita before it killed me. That was a really bad idea. <laughs> I knew that. Um, anyway, I promise not to pass out of That's what she liked embroidery, so I learned very early embroidery. And, and the stamens in these flowers are embroidered. Uh, and I stuffed them with polyfill before I closed the applique, so they stuck out. Now, um, when I pick a photograph to do, I look at the picture and I ask myself, what's the hardest thing to do? And then I don't do that thing. <laughs> you have to kind of identify what's going to give you grief, and then you just don't do it. <laughs> um, and, um, so this particular picture, there's a siding on the house. So I decided to quilt the siding. Okay, you know, that, that's a lot easier than piecing it. Um, now, when I was making this quilt, I looked everywhere for a lattice fabric for underneath the porch, and I never found one. What that is, is the back of a country blue and white plaid. Okay? So ever since that's happened to me, I really look at the front and the back of the fabric. Thank you. Um, because fabric is expensive now. Like it didn't used to be so expensive. So we got to use every bit of it. Okay? And, and I say it's, it's expensive, but if you go overseas, we have it made. It, I mean, it's three times as much overseas. If you go to Japan or you go to Spain, and, and here we can get anything we want. It's just, we are so lucky. Anyway, so uh, I look at the front and the back. Now, when I, I made this quilt, um, I entered this quilt in the Houston show. I, I live in Dickinson, which is 30 minutes from Galveston and 30 minutes from Houston. So right in the middle. I'm originally from Houston. And um, 
So I made this quilt and I was all excited about it. And so I entered it in the Houston show. It didn't win anything, but because it got in the show, it got in a book. And it wasn't like a little picture. It was like, it, the, the name of the book was Back Art because I put something interesting on the back of this quilt. So one page was the front of the quilt and one page was the back of the quilt. And I'm like, woohoo! I thought you had to like know people to get in books and magazines. <laughs> you know, you know, most of it is you're in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And if you don't enter the shows, you know, these things won't happen to you. I didn't win anything, but I got in a book. And that really got me excited and wanted to do better. Um, this is the back of the quilt. It's not exciting, um, but um, you can't see, can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Are you sure? Yeah, I can, I can move around. No, I'm good. All right, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know if you can't see. It. Okay, this was my next quilt because I thought, okay, I, I'm going to try harder. I got to, I got to do better. And so I found this photograph, and. Um, and I loved, it had stained glass, like leaded glass doors and windows. And at that time, I was doing stained glass. Now, at the time that I was doing this, um, I had three little kids. And they were, I had three kids under the age of six when I made this quilt here. This, this quilt here is called Peace and Quiet because I did it at night. <laughs> <laughs> so this quilt, I made this quilt after I made that quilt. So this was an earlier quilt. This one, it took me eight months to make it. It has a whole lot of applique. All of the, the uh, woodwork that you see is applique. It has little yo-yos, but I turned them to the back side. Okay, so all those little circles are yo-yos. I use bias bars for the um, points, the long skinny things. And uh, this quilt, I made a big mistake. And what happened was I was using, I got to the black and white tile floor. I was using freezer paper. It was Katie Best when had a method where you would reverse the pattern and you would draw it on freezer paper and you'd reverse it. And when you would sew, the freezer paper was on top and the freezer paper was on bottom. And that's the way I did the, the background, okay? But then I got to the black and white tile and I forgot to reverse the pattern. And it was late at night and I thought, I'm not redoing that. And I thought, I'm just going to try it this way. Well, that mistake is what started my whole, my, the, the name of this technique that I do is called picture piecing. It's not paper piecing. Most people think I paper piece, but I do not paper piece. So this, this black and white floor was fun. It went together really fast, and you can mess up and fix it really easy. So the very next quilt, I thought, that's all I'm going to do, what I did right there, and that this was the quilt that came about afterwards. Um, this one I entered in the Houston show, and it didn't win nothing. Okay, but that's okay. I entered it in Paducah and it won. <laughs> so, and you can't get discouraged about entering a show. I have to tell you, don't ever get discouraged if you don't place or something. Um, this past year, I won Best of Show at Houston with my boat quilt. You might have seen it. Okay, well, I entered that same quilt and a couple, actually, four other shows. I got a third place, I got a second place, I got, I didn't, I got, I didn't, yeah, I got an honorable mention. And one, I didn't even place it all. So you just don't know. It's it's a it's a right place at the right time. And it's like all the stars have to align. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it didn't happen last year. Uh, now, this particular quilt, the things that I wanted to change, the photograph that I did not like, the light fixture in the picture. Uh, was too modern. So I went to the J.C. Penney catalog and I picked out a light fixture I liked. <laughs> I, I just traced it and, and reduced that tracing and slapped it in there. Okay? Uh, now, the stained glass, the letting, um, how I did that was I took a white on white fabric, turned it to the back side, and then did some washes of color. Blue and turquoise and yellow. And then I quilt, I, well, before I quilted it, I took a black Pigma marker and drew in where the letting was, and then I quilted it with black thread. So that is hand quilted. I do hand quilted. That's my proof that I do know how to do it, but I choose not to now. 